In this 3D Exchange 4 video, we will show you how different material parameters can affect the look and feel of an object. To start, we first observe that the object initially contains two materials. Material 1 for the seat and Material 2 for the base stand. We can either view the materials through the Material drop-down selector or by taking individual dropper samples of specific parts. Notice how the material name changes in regards to the sample you pick. Once you pick your material, you may take a quick look at how variations in specular, illumination, and glossiness affect the overall look of an object. Additionally, you may affect the opacity of the sampled material with the Opacity Toggle option. To better view your new changes, you may also change the lighting effects on the upper right tabs. There, you may choose between Front Side, Side Light, Full Light, and Color Light. If you toggle the self-illumination value to high, then it will reveal the original material texture and not reflect the specular highlights or shading caused by light. This will cause it to look flat, sort of like a cartoon character. This can be pretty handy if you intend to animate a two-dimensional cartoon with 3D animation. Sort of like the artwork seen in the Grand Theft Auto video game series. You may also toggle the values of the specular and the glossiness. Specular and glossiness control how reflective the object will be. Remember that they both work hand in hand, so the higher their values, the more metallic an object will appear. If you would like to use the same material for the entire object, then just click on the Effect All Materials button. This will help you streamline the entire process with the same settings. You may then go into all the previous options and tweak as necessary.